there's any potential uh, lack of graduation, then uh, you might have that problem. For both of us, my foot in your ass. That's not good. Let's not go there, right, Cunningham? We have no need for that discussion at all. I agree with I agree with you. My point is this. My point is this. You guys are here. The only place to be on day one. You are fixing to be known as snipes. When you graduate, it's you're a snipe, and it's the way it is. Forever. And it's not a damn thing you can do about it. Nothing. You can't do it. Not a damn thing you can do about it. You guys clear? It's a matter of snipe means pride and power. If we had a thousand engineers, all of us admit to being a snipe this fast, it's a matter of pride. And it is because of one particular reason, one event. What happened is, 100 years ago, there was only two departments, deck department and engineering. The deck department head was the captain. The engineering department head was the commander. Because of that, they were getting better treatment. We were getting shit on. Our department head, John Snipes, decided to fix this problem. What did he do? He went down the engine room and said, all you engineers, out. Made the ship go dead in the water during the war. Ship dead in the water during the war means what? We're going to die, right? So the captain is pissed off. He was. He went down there and got in John Snipes' face and said, What are you doing, man? Light out these bullets. Snipes got in his face and said, Negative. Shipmate, we're, me and you, we're going to remain right here dead in this water until you agree that all of us engineers get equal treatment across the whole damn board, period. Period. Bitch, I'm positive. <laughs> positive. Cutting in. There had to be a bit. There was a big one involved in that one. Big one in that one. Snipes left the captain with no choice. Because look, give you better sleeping arrangements or sink, that's not a choice at all. Right? Not a choice. We then became known as Snipes men. This got shortened to Snipe. There were no women in the Navy back then. This got shortened to Snipe, and here you all sit. Congratulations. The only place I meant it for real. So, what if you're not in that school and you're in that VCR repair technician school? E G I T F C or hold on, what are you known as over there? Anybody know? That's right. Ellen Atlantis got it again. He said, if you're in VCR repair technician school, you fix it to your twidget. And what can they do about it? Nothing. Twidget to a combat systems person is the same as the word snipe is to you. They mean the same thing. They are. I mean, I'm sorry. I got, I got it wrong. I said twidget to a combat systems person is the same as the word snipe is to you. It's your nickname and their nickname. You understand? Nothing they can do about it, and no, nor can you. you. Guys, clear? So if you're over there, you're a twidget. If you're over here, you're a snipe. Get it? And the problem is we don't get along. Typically, in the big picture, we don't typically get along. The problem is we are all confused and smashed together on every ship. But for this scenario, the CNO took the twidgets off the ship. We're getting underway at noon, twidgets are on the pier, snipes on the ship. Are we getting underway without the twidgets? Yes or no, Carter, yes or no? You don't know, you're sleeping. <laughs> are we getting underway without the twidgets? Yes or no? No, raise your hand. Can't go without twidgets. Edwards, who else? Me? Who else? Edwards. Two Edwards. Cunningham, we get underway, yes or no? Twidgets on the pier. Can we get underway? Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. We get underway without the twitches? You're damn right we are. You drive, don't hit nothing bigger than us. You are sleeping. You navigate. You navigate. Don't let us run into a mountain and cut a hand. Let me see your watch. You ever watch movies? That's no good. You ever watch movies? You qualify. You're the missile shooter. Don't land no missiles. No missiles on a foxhole. Honey hand, do not land any missiles on a foxhole. That's it. I got that line, you got stern line, you got this shit. We're getting this bitch on the way. I didn't say it would be pretty. I didn't say it would be pretty tonight. We can do it though. All right, here we go. We are short on time. I'm going to squish it down tight. Squid, I'm squishing it down tight. Dub, no. V is driving. If V gets, if v runs into something bigger than us, you're on. Because then he's going to the mess next forever. <laughs> all, right, all right, listen. We are going to get this bitch underway. Wait, look, we got V. Raise your left hand. Trying to figure out his left from his right. <laughs> Alan is. We got Alan is up there trying to figure out why his eyeballs look so big. He turned the binoculars around and God forbid we have to shoot any missiles. My point is this. My point is this, you guys. We can do it. it won't be pretty, but we can do it. New scenario. Snipes on the pier, twitch on the ship. They're going to get us underway, yes or no? No. Why not? Let's stop right there. They don't know where the engine room is. That's correct. And that discussion is over. That's it. No further discussion required. Listen to me. There are a million reasons, more than a million reasons why twitches and snipes don't get along. More than a million. The number one reason is because 
those highly intelligent, high aspect sport carrying, no low form twitches, they know that you, dirty, dumb, asshole snipes, are running this bitch. And there ain't a damn single thing anyone can do about it, period. The discussion is over. Period! That's bold statement number 12, ain't it? What I said. What I said, Edwards. I said, twitches and snipes don't get along because they know you're running and there's nothing they can do, right? That's a bold statement, right? Period. Here's the proof. Here's the proof. There's the ship on the LPO, monster on the pier, engineers on the pier. While we're on this pier, what can happen on that ship? That's right, not a damn thing. Four words, not a damn thing. There's no steam, no PR, no power, no heat, no propulsion, no radar, no missiles. The milk is hot, and you need a hammer to get the Twinkies out of the damn ship. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Okay, hurry up. Hey, 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 come on, we're almost out of time. Who can do their job on a ship first if you don't first do your school? Nobody the cook cannot cook your food. The yeoman cannot fix your paycheck if the computer won't go on. That's it. The destruction is over. <laughs> you understand? Well, then who runs the ship? Yeah. And who runs the ship? The answer is snipes. Right now, I want you to imagine across the whole Navy, all snipes across the whole Navy, all standing on the pier all at the same time. Now, how good is the Navy? What? Carol, come on, hurry up. Yeah. yeah, don't lie to me. You said it ain't shit. That's right. <laughs> and if all the snipes are on the pier, then, a snipe, then the Navy doesn't work at all, does it? Because I want you to let's be clear. You guys ain't on the ship. If you guys are on the ship, not on the ship, the missile won't go and you need a hammer to get the tanks. And everything in between. You understand? You truly are in control of the whole ship. You guys understand me? Well, then who runs the Navy? Uh, what's the best rate? Uh, Mine. Come on, let's go. We're almost out of time. Five minutes left. Who runs the Navy? Nice. And the number one most powerful piece of women in the whole Navy, what is it? Ah, shit, I gave it away. Hold it. Let's start over. <laughs> well, that was number three. What's the best rate? Mine. What's the best rate? Mine. Who was running the Navy? Nice. Okay, that's one and two is straight. Now somebody take a guess. The number one most powerful piece of women in the whole Navy. Number one most powerful piece of women in the whole damn Navy. Kind of hand, what is it? That's right, it's a sniper that knows some shit. That's correct. And here's that's bold statement number 13. Did you hear me? D. I said the number one most Edwards. I said the number one most powerful piece of women in the whole damn Navy is a sniper that knows her shit. Here's that's bold statement number 13. And here's the proof. There's the engine room. Turbine boilers, engine switchboard, all brand new. Norfolk, the baddest known to man. Norfolk to Italy in two days. Smoking fast, any kind of hand. And there it's gonna sit. Listen to me. No matter how fast and badass it is, it's going to sit right there worthless. A multi-million dollar worthless waste of money. And will remain a multi-million dollar worthless waste of money until some snipe, just like you, comes along, who knows her shit, comes along and make it do what it does. It's going to sit right there worthless to the whole world, ain't it? It is, isn't it, D? Well, in that case, which is more powerful, the operator or the engine? That makes you the number one most powerful piece of equipment in the whole Navy. Because look, man, in 3011 V, your engine might run on magic. In 3011, it works you on a turbine to run on magic. <laughs> but today and tomorrow, that's irrelevant. Follow me? Yeah. No matter how bad it is, it needs some sniper that knows for shit that they can do what it does or it won't. Clear? Yeah. Well, therefore, the number one most powerful piece of equipment in the whole damn Navy, what is it? Yeah. It's a sniper that knows for shit. You don't want to say shit, change the word to stuff. No other words in the cornerstones can be changed. Do not deviate from cornerstone words ever. What's the best rate? Mine. Who's running the Navy? Nice. Nice. The number one most powerful piece of equipment in the Navy, what is it? Nice. The nose is shit. Okay, very good. The cornerstones are done. We're almost there. You guys want to learn the plays? Simple. Four things, every single student, every single day. I'm going to squish this down. Tight. Sleep, focus, take your notes and read them. Sleep. Edwards, write it down and tell everybody later. Sleep at night time so you can focus in class, so you can take good notes, so you can read them. 30 minutes. Cunningham, hour a day for Cunningham. If you're not Cunningham, 30 minutes a day. <laughs> Carter, two hours a day for Carter. Read your damn. Listen to me. What's so hard about reading your notes? Here, here goes Indoc. You ready? Indoc in two, two sentences. You ready? Do you want to learn the plays? Yes. Then read your type of notes. That's it. Got it? If you don't read your notes, you will be sorry. Okay. What's the best rate? Hi. Running the Navy. Nice. Your number one most powerful piece? Yeah. Nice to know their shit. Then you want to learn the plays? Sleep, focus, take your notes, and read them. Sleep at night time, focus in class, take some notes, because this is this is CBT on paper. And then read your notes. 
Four reasons why this is the only place to be on day one. Reason number one, we run this bitch. Reason number two, this is where the normal people live, Evans. I want to be surrounded by normal folks, regular types like you guys, that I can learn from and be like. You're not freaks I can't understand or explain. That whole building over there is full of them. Reason number one, we run this bitch. Reason number two, this is where the normal people live. Reason number three, is this video I'm about to show you. Reason number four, wait, I'm not done. Reason number four, is there are no catheters in this book. Cunningham, you like catheters? You know what a catheter is? A tube in your ass. Flatter, you like catheters? <laughs> That's a good reason to be here, bro. There are none in here. You understand? All right. Here it goes, you guys. Hey, I'm going to try and get this video in. This is your school. Start some bar, you guys. This is reason number three. Congratulations. This is reason number three to be here. Thank you. 